Good afternoon everyone, Lance Mechanist here for the second video of the night. This one actually is going to be a follow-up. I did the showcase earlier in the first video. Uh, you can find it here on YouTube on my channel. Uh, basically, I was talking about the Tier 1 ships available to new players who have just recently got World of Warships Legends for either the PS4, PS5, Xbox One, or Xbox Series X. There are eight Tier 1 cruisers. Of, there are eight Tier 1 ships available. All of them are cruisers. So, we're going to be doing... Uh, we're going to be doing, try to be doing two at a time. We're going to start off with the Albany and the Chikuma. First up is the Albany. I am in PvP mode, standard. So, if everyone's ready, here we go. Now, I am unsure if anyone actually does Tier 1 PvP. Um, it... The wait time actually could take a while. I hope it doesn't. But I mean, if if no one if no one did tier one PVP, the sec the selection probably wouldn't even be available for it. So all we gotta do is just wait for the timer to keep up to go. Now then, the ship we chose was the USS Albany. That is the American Tier 1 cruiser. She is slow, but she's got a good, but she's got good reload. And the timer is really ticking up. Yeah, I might need to go back. I don't even think anyone does tier 1 PvP. Yep, that's what it looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is switch to AI. We'll be using it there. <sighs> You'd think that there would be some people interested in a tier 1 PvP, but then again, by the time PvP is unlocked, most people are already in tier 2 or tier 3. Tier 1 is mainly access to versus AI. It's for new players. Basically players versus bots training missions trying to get you uh, used to the ship's controls how it, how it works and everything. Okay, we got the marker. Looks like there are some uh, versus AI battles going on. Okay, Islands Map, Capture the Base, Tier 1, USS Albany. First battle. Okay, and yep. Oh. It's only two players, the rest are AI. Now the part of now the objective of capture the base is to protect your base while capturing the enemy's base over there. Or you can also wipe out the entire enemy fleet. Alright.
looks like a full nine on nine match. All right, first detection is down there. We're gonna start detecting the uh, AI, the bots, anytime soon. Yep. In fact, there we go. Nope, I did not leave that too much at all. Now there is another way to take out enemy ships in game, and that is by ramming. But you uh, actually da severely da you can severely damage your own ship if not outright sink your ship by doing so. Destroyer, kind of allied ship kind of got in the way there. And we just got the Chikuma. We set them on fire, incapacitated them. Yeah, he's just stopped there. I don't know why. Because I'm using high explosive, I'm not exactly getting any, uh, I'm not exactly getting Citadel hits because these shells are not piercing. They, well, they're exploding. The there we go. That, there goes another. Incapacitated an enemy Albany. And the Albany just hit a sinking ship. player commands. I think there's only one player. And that's another Albany. As you can see with the tier ones, it takes a while to get up to speed. Let's see if we can't get in there. Yeah, shoot. We dominated early on. Now and now we're kinda, and now we're taking some hits. Yep, Dresden just took out the Albany. Attention, reporting the target position. 
two Novix. Okay, we just lost a Jurian. Looks like uh, we captured the base, I think. Yep, we reached maximum points. I had hoped to do a uh, PvP match tier 1, but it looks like I might have to be doing uh, AI instead. Uh... So yeah, that was the Albany, USS Albany, the American Tier 1 ship. I did say I was going to do two matches each. Um, that is, I, I stick to my word, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's go for a second match. And then we'll switch over to the Chikuma do two matches there and that will and that should be the and that would be that uh, should be the uh, end of the video and then on and then on to the next selection but yeah the Albany and the Chikuma they are the two ships you actually start with to recap, uh, these are the first two ships you have. Um, basically, your introductory battle into World of Warships Legends. You must pick one of those two ships, and then after that battle is finished, you can go into the shipyard and purchase uh, other Tier 1 ships. Whichever one really suits your fancy, whichever one uh, suits your playing style. Okay, we've got two more players with us this time. And the rest are AI. Okay, we got two Albanies with us. They're, they're also players. Let's see, that's a Weymouth. And that was a Dresden, so... Yep, we got... There's one guy. He's either hanging back or he does not... Or he uh, lost his connection. Okay, that caused some damage to him, incapacitated him.
cruiser foundered. Yeah, the AI is making a run on the base. Let's make them rethink their actions, shall we? Hello! Alright, we took out one of their cannons. Set them on fire, did something. And there goes the enemy Dresden. Next target is the Albany. Okay, incapacity. He's gonna he's gonna lose speed real quick. And there he goes. Enemy cruiser sunk. That's three. Our team is the lead. All that's left is these two here. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. As that. Yep, that's another Albany. Yep, that's one of the play that's another one of the players. So let's give him a hand, shall we? Last is the Novik. Good God, he is getting peppered from the entire fleet. And he used the wreckage of his teammate of the other AI to stop him momentarily. I was about to say, is he going in for a ram? That overshot. Okay, and the Albany gets the kill. Okay, that was the second match with the Albany. And now we do two battles with the Chikuma. Again, though, it is kind of odd there's no uh, Tier 1 PvP, but, I mean, I can understand it. Because the, the experience hump to get from Tier 1 to Tier 2 is actually pretty low. You can actually make it to Tier 2 within about, oh, two, maybe three battles of Tier 1. And then after that, well, as you upscale in tier, it gets progressively harder to get to the next tier. Like, uh, with my tier 5 carrier, uh, the carriers are, the carriers are interesting because they jump tiers. They go from tier 3 to tier 5 to tier 7. Um, you need to basically do, like, uh, 200 battles with, uh, with a tier 5 carrier to reach tier 7. And a hundred battles with the tier three to reach tier five. All right, this is the Chikuma. We've got three players with us this time.
All cannons are loaded. Shoot. Going from a <laughs> going from a near 100 degree kitchen to a 68 degree house is uh, uh the diff the temperature difference is a little bit is a little bit interesting. <laughs> As you can see, we've already picked up a little bit more speed than we did with the uh, Albany. Nearly 26 knots. Alright, first enemy's been spotted. Second enemy will be spotting. Yep. Now, I realize turning broadside means presenting a bigger picture to the target, but it's also one of the only ways you can actually bring all your guns to bear. As this was actually the, as this was actually military practice back in back in those days. It's a, it's actually a bit of a holdover from the age of sail, when uh, these large ships would turn broadside to one another and blast each other with cannons. Sometimes uh, anywhere between uh, 10 to over 100 cannons on some ships were used. And then with the invention of the turrets and large bore rifle cannons, things kind of changed a bit. And we get our first kill. And again, I have regional dialects on, so that kind of adds a little bit more interesting to it. What is the old saying? No commander can do much wrong when he puts his ship alongside that of an enemy's. We got another, we got a Nino Big Seal coming up. Trying to get out of the way because he might try to ram us. Activate damage control.
That's kill number four. And here comes another one. And he's the only one left. Yep. AI got him. Pretty close to five kills, but then again, against the bots, you don't really get, uh, like, the Krakens or trophies or anything like that. Okay, completed the daily boost. Let's go for a second match. And after that, I'll switch over to the next two ships in the tier. <sighs> okay, already ready. This time we've got four players on our side. The rest are AIs. Now a bit of now a bit of interesting bit, a bit of interesting uh, game information for you. Uh, tier two is when you get the ability to unlock destroyers, which have torpedoes. Tier three is when you unlock uh, torpedoes on your cruisers, and also when you unlock battleships. You continue on with the battleships, you can unlock the tier 4 battleships or the tier 3 carriers. The tier 1 cruisers, you've got one type of ammunition, the high explosive or armor piercing if you're British. Um, tier 2 the cruiser the cruisers that usually have high explosive only gain access to armor piercing whereas the british retain armor piercing only they have a flair for piercing what can i say when you're british you get right to the point right <laughs> the british the british the british navy always has a always has a way of getting right to the point <laughs> anyway um Anyway, yeah, tier two unlocks. Uh, yeah, tier two unlocks destroyers, unlocks destroyer torpedoes. You still have primarily cannons with your cruisers. Tier three is when you unlock torpedoes on your cruisers. Yeah, we've already lost one. Looks like they're gonna ram. Yep, they just rammed. I just beached. No wonder I stopped. All right. Well, 
that was a wild hair shot. Yeah, I think this, uh, I think I've got the undivided attention of this Novik. I set his, I set his, I set his ass on fire, so I ought to have his undivided attention. <laughs> There goes one. I have no idea what the national dialect is saying, but I would assume something like victory is near. There goes the Nino Bixio. There goes the enemy Novik. All that's left is the uh, other is the opposite Chikuma, and he looks like he, yeah he's pursuing uh, that Albany. I don't know why this guy's running, but then again, I guess, uh... I mean, he's still got pretty good health. I guess it's just one of those things. Yeah, that Chikuma's pretty much dead anyway. shells are going to fall short. <sighs> this guy is really dragging it out. He's got one kill, so he knows how to use his guns.
And there he goes. All right, everyone. That was the two battles with the Chikuma and the Albany. Next up, next video will be the Weymouth, will be the Weymouth and the Dresden. I hope y'all stay. I hope y'all continue to stay tuned. Y'all have a good night and enjoy.